Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and we of course continue on the top 10 Windows 10 questions and answers. So we did three videos. This is video number four and I'll actually put them in a playlist once they are all done so you'll have all 10 videos. Well today in the top 10 Windows 10 questions. Is my old hardware, my old computer, my Windows 7 machine compatible with the Windows 10 operating system. So a lot of people often think that when we um, have a new operating system, we need a new computer. And it used to be like that quite a lot. I mean, if you were moved to, uh, you know, from Windows 98 to Windows XP, often it was a big jump and it was kind of a jump that you'd start saying, well, okay, I think I need a new PC. And, you know, and, and possibly the same happened when you move from Windows XP to Windows 7. Okay, time for a new PC again. And often, as a tech guy, I would tell everybody, um, you know, um, don't get the new Windows. Don't buy the new Windows. Wait till you change your PC when you change your computer because it's too slow or too old. You'll have the new one with it at that time. So... Of course, when we went from Windows 7 to Windows 8, one of the first things that we noticed is that Windows 8 didn't really require much more than Windows 7 in terms of, you know, processing power. And that continued with Windows 10. Typically, okay, it's not a 100% rule, but it's a rule that is probably good for more than 80% of everybody out there. If your computer runs Windows 7, there's more than 80% chance that it will run Windows 10 correctly. And here as examples, I've got four laptops that were all Windows 7 machines. They are of different ages, but uh, the oldest one is more than 10 years now. And even that 10-year-old Toshiba Core 2 Duo laptop actually works with Windows 10 quite well. It's running the May 2019 update. Pretty good. And my other laptops, except one that has a, uh, dr a display driver problem, and it's not a Windows problem. It's because they never updated the display driver after. Uh, and even the company, it's a Toshiba also. Even Toshiba says, well, you know, we can't guarantee it's going to work on Windows 10. And it does with an external screen. That's the funniest thing. Uh, with an external screen, it works flawlessly. So it actually is okay. But um, so, you know, you might have a little glitch like that. Some machines might have the driver problem. But in the majority of cases, it's going to run. Will it run your old printer? Will it run your old, um, you know, scanner, your whatever you have that you might want to have working? Um, you know, pretty much the rule is that if it is working on Windows 7, chances are it's going to work on Windows 10. I had two printers here when I installed Windows 10 the first time. And one was a old desk jet um, it's, I, I don't remember the exact model number, but it was an old inkjet printer purchased in um, 2003 or four or something like that. I got a um, laser printer, black and white um, laser printer here that is about 10 years old. And both had drivers that were already making it functional in Windows 10. I don't think I had anything that I plugged in and didn't work from the start. Except, yes, maybe a uh, there's a webcam, an old uh, Logitech webcam. But, you know, it was really an old webcam and it was time for a change anyway. So the majority of you will be able to run Windows 10 on that machine without having to buy something new. Um, and if it runs Windows 7, chances are it's going to run Windows 10. Even better if it runs Windows 8, it's pretty much guaranteed to run Windows 10. So this gives you an idea of all of that. 
So, uh, yeah, I, there's a good chance that that old hardware of yours still works in Windows 10. You can, of course, uh, go to forums and Google. Um, and remember one thing, when it says on a website, because, you know, manufacturers, they want to sell hardware. So, of course, they're not going to say, well, you know, they, yeah, yeah, it works. They're going to use words like, yeah, we can't guarantee that it might have all the functionalities. Uh, hint, that doesn't mean that it says it's not going to work. It just says that, well, you know, we would prefer you to buy something new, but in reality, it's probably going to work fine. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much clear. And uh, for the software side of things, most software compatible with Windows 7 pretty much run on Windows 10. Uh, one of the interesting phenomena of Windows 10 is that incompatible software is removed. So that means if you would upgrade from Windows 7, for example, and go to Windows 10, what's going to happen is that in Windows 10, you're going to see that if one of the programs you use isn't there, okay, Windows 10 deemed it was not compatible, and it actually uninstalled it while you were upgrading. So these are things that, of course, could happen. But for the most part, uh, and I've used a lot of old software, I've used a lot of things on Windows 10 machines here that uh, date back to, you know, 10 years and more, and was surprised to see that it worked actually very, very uh, correctly and uh, was fine. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.